One in every three people has tiny painless red bumps on their skin, most often on the upper arms, which feels tight and raw, almost like chicken skin or sandpaper. This condition is called keratosis pilaris. Sometimes people call it goose bumps that never go away. It is extremely common in teenagers affecting about 50% of adolescents. Keratosis pilaris develops because the skin overproduces a protein called keratin. This excess keratin mixes with dead skin cells inside the hair follicle, the tiny pore where each hair grows, and forms a rough bump on the skin surface. Each bump is typically centered around a follicle. The exact cause is still unknown, but it's strongly genetic. Almost 70% of cases have a family history and mutations in the flattering gene are often involved. People with skin barrier problems like eczema or atopic dermatitis are more likely to develop it. Dry, cold weather make keratosis pilaris worse, while symptoms often improve in summer. Friction from tight clothing can sometimes aggravate it. Rarely, a deficiency of vitamin A is linked, but it's uncommon. Diagnosis of keratosis pilaris is made clinically which means a doctor can recognize it just by examining the skin. The classic pattern, tiny rough bumps on the upper arms, tight, or cheeks, is usually enough for diagnosis, and no tests are needed. The first-line treatment is regular moisturization and the use of keratolytic creams. Urea creams are the most effective. It is applied once or twice daily, soften the skin, dissolves excess keratin and attracts water into the skin. They improve keratosis pilaris in almost 80% of cases. Urea is considered very effective and safe even for long-term use, sometimes for years. Rarely, it may cause mild irritation. Lactic acid creams are the next most effective options. Lactic acid exfoliates dead skin cells and increase skin moisture. Its effectiveness is about 70%. These creams are also safe for long-term use and are applied once or twice a day, usually after bathing. The third option is salicylic acid. Salicylic acid removes dead cells from the skin surface and help unclog pores. Their effectiveness is around 50%. They can be used for long-term management and are applied as a lotion or wash one or two times daily. For severe or stubborn cases, when other treatments are not effective, topical retinoids like adapalin or tretinoin may be recommended. This increased skin cell turnover prevent blocked hair follicles and help in difficult cases. The showing improvement in about 50 to 60 percent of cases. Retinoids are generally safe for long-term use, but they can cause dryness, irritation, and redness. Use a pea-sized amount at night on affected areas. Retinoids should not be used during pregnancy and can increase sun sensitivity to reduce irritation start every other night. Natural remedies like coconut oil are considered effective for keratosis pilaris. It moisturizes, helps repair the skin barrier, and reduce dryness or mild irritation. For best results, apply it daily to clean damp skin, massaging gently into the affected area. Improvement is seen in about 30% of cases, although it is less effective than medical creams Coconut oil is natural, widely accessible, and very safe for long-term use. Gentle manual exfoliation can also help by removing dead skin cells. It helps smooth out rough bumps. After soaking in warm water, such as during a shower or bath, gently rub the affected area for one or two minutes. 
then rinse with lukewarm water and pet dry. This method improves symptoms in about 40% of cases. Avoid harsh scrubbing. It can worsen redness. Oatmeal buds are another gentle option. Oatmeal reduces inflammation and exfoliates the skin. Use one cup of finely grounded oatmeal. Add it to warm or bath water and soak for 10 to 15 minutes. Then pet dry gently. This improves the condition in around 30% of cases and is very safe and works well for sensitive skin. For a daily regimen, in the morning after showering, pat your skin dry gently. While still damp, apply a thin layer of coconut oil on the affected area and allow it to fully absorb before dressing. Exfoliation should be done once or twice per week. Massage with a soft washcloth, gentle meat or sugar scrub for one or two minutes. Then rinse and apply coconut oil. Oatmeal socks are best done two or three times per week.